Shalom. Kahala Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shah Bahashem Rahakwadash. Double honors to our teachers, the head apostles, and elders of Great Millstone. Peace, love, and salutations to the Hofi elect scattered throughout the four corners of the earth, teaching the truth, society, and diligence for the sake of Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shah. Lord, when this lesson may be edifying and straight to the point. You know, just a quick lesson on you degenerate men. You know, in which the Lord Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shah created the men of Israel, you so called Negroes. Latinos and Native Indians to be the epitome of manliness in the earth, man. Masculinity, vigorous. You see, at a, the Lord, Yahweh Shai is supposed to show forth through you men. When these nations see the men in Israel, they're supposed to see the Lord burn forth through you, man. Everything that the Lord stands for is supposed to be showcased through the men of Israel. So why the Lord said that you are gods, all of you are children of the Most High. The Lord created you to be divine, man. You know? But you became a degenerate plant because you trimmed the ways to be loved in this society. You jeopardized your relationship with the Lord to be verified on social media, man. To be a fucking internet, a TikTok, an Instagram sensation, man. You know, and the Lord gonna destroy you niggas, man. That's why the prop a constantly telling you to repent and come out of this weak nature. The Lord even tell you to put off now the weak nature, man. You see, America has taught you niggas how to be weak, you know. They try to be a, a attention whores, man. You you want to be a fucking sensation on on fucking social media, but you depriving yourself of your manhood to do it, man. Being fucking fools in which you taking on the traits of the so called white man because Esau Edom promotes that effeminate and childish vibration when it comes to the men. You know, then the Lord is going to destroy you niggas because you hey, you are strange you are strange plant. You saying real quick. That's the word epitome. It says a person or thing that is a perfect example of a uh, particular quality or type. You see, you're supposed to be a perfect example of your how by shimmy how shine on planet Earth, man. Everything that the Lord stands for is supposed to be showcased through you. You see? But Esau Edom is showcased through you men because you take on the nature of these Americans. You know? The Lord created you to be... A uh, uh, manly man, you know the Lord promote men being strong and brave, vigorous men, men of valor. You see, the Lord delighting men having strong, being of a strong, rough nature. You know, that's the nature of Yahweh Shai. He was an austere man, so the Lord looked for the men of Israel to be in that same manner. But you don't follow after that. You follow after the so-called white man Esau Edom, and you do so by cleaving to America. The vibrations that's pushed out here and showcased here in America through these fucking celebrities, these uh, in influencers, content creators. Yeah, when you take on that vibration, you becoming an American by way of the mind. And, hey, by default, you in violation of the law. And the Lord is justified to pin you to death. You know, and this is the word divine. It says of, from, or like the most high, or a God, man. See? And the Lord said that you are you ye are gods. You are because I are you are children of the most high, but you shall die like men. Why are you dying like men? Because you cleave to iniquity, man. Yeah, the Lord tell you that uh, the wages of sin is death. You see? And when you cleave to America, ultimately you cleave into death, man. You see, because this way the, the, the ways of America is just the ways of hell, man. You know, real quick. Real quick, this is the book of Proverbs. Chapter 7 and verse uh and verse 25, he said, Let not thy heart decline to her ways, go not astray in her paths, for she hath cast down many wounded, yeah, many strong men have been slain by her. Yeah, you see, when you clay when you cleave to America, it emasculates you as a man, and you you slain in the spirit, you pretty much defeated, man. You know. And by default, you're going to be defeated when the Lord brings forth these judgments, man. You're not going to be able to hold up. Because he tell you that man's, man's hearts is filling up for fear for the, what do you say, for looking for the things that's coming on the planet Earth. Roughly paraphrasing, man. So when the judgment of the Lord start to showcase on the Earth, your heart going to give out. You're not going to be a strong, you're not going to be shown a strong man. You're going to be shown a little bitch ass little boy, man. A effeminate little boy. You know, because you didn't cleave to the ways of the Lord. And when you reject the Lord, that's pretty much you saying you don't want to be a man. You want to stay a, a kid, man. 
You want to stay a child pretty much. You know? But he say, for she have cast down many wounded, yet many strong men have been slain by her. Her house is the way to hell, going down to the chambers of death. And that's what America leads you to, man. Cleveland to America is going to lead you to death. Trying to be a sensation in America is going to lead you to death, man. Because the Lord created you to be divine. You see? You're supposed to be the, the epitome of your how shine on planet Earth. Manliness, masculinity, roughness, a vigorous valor. You know, you're supposed to be brave, strong, man. You know, he say what? He say of, from, or like God, or a God. You're supposed to be like a God, man. He say godly, godlike, angelic. These are the traits you're supposed to trim your ways after, man. This the, is the nature that you're supposed to take on. You see? Because this is what makes you a man when you cleave to your house, son, man. You know? But look at this. It's the word degenerate. He said, having lost the physical, mental, or moral qualities considered normal or desirable, showing evidence of decline. Yeah, you see? And you operating in this vibration, this shows evidence of you declining as a man. You being defeated as a man. When you cleave to America, it shows that you was defeated because America promotes a, 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 a effeminate, emasculine vibration when it comes to men. That's why the men here is highly emotional. A lot of niggas is sending the box because their emotions got the best on, man. And it all go back to because you cleave to the ways of America, Esau Edom. You're not walking in the divine vibration, which is that's your, your natural state, man. The Lord said it. Uh, right, in fact, let's get it. This the book of Psalms 82 and verse 6. He said, I have said ye are gods. And all you are children of the most high. You see? Yasha Allah. He's the prince of power, man. Yeah, the prince of power with Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shah. We the children of the most high. You see, we're the children of that this, this divine entity that created the heavens and earth. But you dying like men because you you didn't turn from his ways, man. You're not walking in the divine vibration. You see real quick. It's the book of Jeremiah chapter 2 and verse 11. He said, Hath a nation changed their, changed their gods, which are yet no gods? And which these nations not changing from their gods, man. You really only see that in America because they come to America to seek, being, to, to seek out being an American pretty much. But for the most part, the, these other nations are not changing from their gods. But Israel, you see, he said, but my people have changed their glory from that which do it not profit. In which your how by Shem is your glory, man. You know, the Lord tell you how I have the gold become dim. You know, hey, the men of the Lord are, are the gold, man, the precious golds of your how by Shem And you became dim when you started to cleave to the ways of these other nations. You know, when you start, when you took on the ways of America, you became dim. You lost your shine, man. You see, because it's glory in being a man. You know, you want to glory the same glory that your how about Shimei Shah have, man. You know? Yeah, he said, but my people have changed their glory for that which do it not profit. In which America is not going to profit you nothing, man. America emasculated you. That's why he tell you in the book of Micah 2 and 10 that this place is not your rest because it will surely pollute you. Yeah, your mannerism, your reasoning, your outlook on things, you know, your decision making, your discernment, is it, it was all, it, 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 it profited you nothing, man, because it's, it stems from what you learned here in America, you know? In this uh, Jeremiah chapter 2 and verse 21, he said, yeah, yeah, I had planted thee a noble vine, holy, a right seed. Yeah, because we're supposed to be the epitome of holiness in the planet Earth, a set apart nation. So yeah, how was I supposed to be showing forth through the men of the Lord, just like the Lord is supposed to show forth through the women, through uh, femininity, man, a uh, uh, that feminine energy, softness, delicateness, tenderness. That's how the women supposed to operate, man. You know, but you men operating like the women. You niggas acting tender and delicate. And the women are acting fucking manly, man. 
Everything is out of order. You see, but the Lord have planted thee a noble vine, holy and right. This is the way we're supposed to operate as a nation. A noble vine, man. We're supposed to deal with wisdom. You know? He said, how then art thou turned into a degenerate plant? You see? Of a strange vine unto me. Because you took on the ways of America. Now you are a strange vine unto the Lord, man. You know, you're a degenerate plant. In which that word degenerate. Again, it says, well, he says, an immortal or corrupt person. Yeah, you corrupt, man. You in violation, man. Because you ain't following the law. You ain't following it. You ain't following the ways of the king to the best of your ability. You know, so that puts you in violation. You see, because real quick. <clears throat> this Ecclesiastes chapter 13 and verse 1. He that touches pitch shall be defiled therewith. And he that have fellowship with a proud man shall be like unto him. You see, and this proud man would be Esau Edom, the so-called white man. And you being in his society, America, you cleave into this American lifestyle where you've been likened unto that proud man. So now you became a degenerate plant because this proud man is going to be destroyed by Yahweh by Shema Washah. The entity that follows behind pride is destruction. That's what America, that's why you see America on a decline. Everything that once upheld this place is circling the drain, man. Because this place was driven off of pride, and the Lord don't deal with pride, man. He, he said he cast down the proud nations, the proud princes. You know? Uh, but yeah, man. You see? But just to go back to that, it says, uh, yeah, an uh, uh, immortal or corrupt person, and this the way is that you men have took out the hand of America, man. You know? And you lost your sign. But only your how by Shema was can give you your sign back. You know, real quick. Let's grab these last two. This Lamentations, chapter 4 and verse 1. He said, how how is the gold become dim? How is the most fine gold changed in which you men, the men of Israel is the most fine gold, the precious gold of the how by Shema was shot. But you became dim. He said the stones of the sanctuary are poured out in the top of every street. The precious sons of Zion, comparable to fine gold. You see, how are they esteemed as earthen pitchers, the work of the hands of the potter? You see, hey, you are the precious stones of your house. Bashim Al-Shah, you are the precious gold of the Lord. But you became dim, man, because you took on an effeminate vibration, man. And that's not the way that the Lord designs you to be. You're supposed to be a divine, in a, you, a, a divine creation by Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. The Lord is supposed to bud forth through you, man. That's why you keep the law to the best of your ability and the Lord will make a man out of you. You see, you'll get the glory of the Lord. But Cleveland to America, you, you, you've been declined, man, you see. He says showing evidence, the word degenerate again, showing evidence of decline. You see, degraded, debased, corrupt, impure. You see, you in violation, man. You know, but only your how about Shema Shai can give you that gold back. You see, real quick, this is the book of Isaiah 13 and verse 12. He said, I will make a man more precious than fine gold, even a man of the golden of the golden wage of Ophir. So the Lord is going to make the men of the Lord more precious than fire gold. Those who trim their ways to be fitted in the eyes of the Lord, Yahweh Bashim Shai. But you, you weak, effeminate, degenerate men, the Lord is going to destroy you, man. You see, all hell is going to break loose and your heart going to give out. And you're going to fucking die here in America. You know, but Lord willing is edifying to the elect and to those seeking salvation through our Lord, Yahweh Shai. I was giving all the glory and praise to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rahakodash, Lord wins in this video. Shalom.